When Omnisphere's layers are set to synthesis mode, we can choose from 400 DSP wavetables. Now, these collection of wavetables are basically single cycle waveforms in different shapes, and we can sweep through them smoothly using these different sliders to create changes in the timber. And I'm going to play a little region to start with. I've chosen one of the classic waveforms in the sawtooth section over here, but you can choose any of these. And this is an initialized patch, and it's fairly bland and straightforward just hearing this sort of neutral, static tone. Now to start with, we can modulate the shape slider, and this will change the timbrel characteristics. So you can hear how it's subtly changing the tone of it. And these get interesting when you modulate them. And the idea of modulation is where we dynamically change the values of these parameters over time. And there's a lot of sources we can use to modulate in Omnisphere. And I'm going to use an LFO. I've used this in one of the other videos. And I want to sort of get you used to the idea of modulating these parameters. So let's select LFO1 as a source, meaning we're going to use this shape to modulate this shape slider. So under the target, we're going to go under oscillator and we'll go synth shape. And you can see the speed that it's modulating it at, and we can set the value from there or from there. And let's see what it sounds like. And I'll set this to modulate in sync with the tempo of the song. Let's try it like that. So it's a lot more dynamic than just simply having it remain in one position. Now let me mute that for a second and let's explore the symmetry slider. Now the symmetry varies the span of the waveform and it's used for kind of pulse width style modulation. And again, this works nicely when we modulate it. So let's automate that as well. I'm gonna put this automation back on for the shape and let's set up another modulation routing. And this time we'll use LFO2 and we're gonna set it to modulate the symmetry slider. And here we can set oscillator two, or rather LFO two to a different rate if we want. Like maybe I'll do it faster. And let's see what that sounds like. So with a faster oscillation like that, we really hear a nice kind of timber to it. So it really adds motion by creating various different timbers by having it in different positions. Now we have the hard sync slider next, and this is great for lead sounds. It gives more of an aggressive metallic-like sound. So what it does is it uses two oscillators. One's the master and one's the slave, and the slave is forced to restart its waveform when, when it's hard synced with the master. Now the idea is that the master one controls the pitch, and that changes to the slave's oscillator pitch won't change the pitch of the master. And instead, we hear different overtones and different harmonics. That's the idea, the quick little short story behind this kind of modulation. And what's great with Omnisphere is it uses a hidden, dedicated, separate oscillator for the slaved hard sync. So really, when we're modulating this, we're modulating the master. So it adds a nice aggressive sound. Let's add another modulation routing and I'll use LFO3. We can have other sources as well. I'm just using these for the moment. And we'll modulate hard sync with this. And let's see what it sounds like. So really it adds motion and movement to the sound. So all this using a basic raw digital wavetable, just modulating some of these basic parameters that change the shape of the waveform. One little footnote here, when we're using the actual noise type of waveform, the characteristics are a bit different. For example, the shape slider becomes a filter that sweeps it between white noise and pink noise. And when we're 
using the symmetry slider over here, it changes the filter types. And the hard sync slider acts as a width control. Let's change it real quickly to noise and hear the effect of all these modulations using noise. I'm going to end off here and I'll continue in the next video and we'll look at the analog and phase knobs.